All right, networking. Um, the networking, as you saw, it was pre-configured for me. Some, just quickly, some things you should be aware of are the uh, DL admin command. It'll actually show you the devices that are on your system. So my device is E1000G0. It's running at one gigabit per second. And ifconfig. Put this up top. So I've got um, two interfaces, the loopback interface and then my E1000G0 device. It just tells me it's up, it's running, it's using DHCP. Using ifconfig is how you, if you wanted to switch it to be a static interface, if you wanted to give it a different IP address, ifconfig is how you would do that. All right, quickly, um, just where some other networking information is, uh, especially resolve.conf um, is a key one. I get a lot of, see a lot of emails on the forums where folks have an IP address, but nothing's working for them. You know, they go to their browser and they, they can't bring up Yahoo or Google. Usually that's a resolution, a name resolution problem. So if you look in resolve.conf, you want to make sure that your um, domain name server is all set up properly in there. Normally that's set up automatically for you, but that's one thing to check. If you want to set up your static host name, you would do that in your Etsy host file. So let's, um, yeah, let's do that really quick. And that file by default is read only, so I'm going to make it writable. Uh, oh, I didn't want to do, oh, yeah. There we go. So I can do things like, let's grab the IP address of my host machine, 192.168.1.132. Call that whatever I want. Oh, don't tell me that. Was it 192? There we go. Okay, and so now I've added that to my, now that I've added that to my host directory, I can ping. Again, when you think of VirtualBox, you want to think of, these are two separate computers. There's Solaris 10 and there's Open Solaris. And yes, they're running on the same laptop, but from a, as far as Solaris 10 is concerned, Open Solaris is in some other building somewhere on the part of the world. It doesn't know that it's co-located with Solaris 10, so the networking will behave the same. 